So I had pulled a clip off of Instagram literally last night. And this is actually going to answer the question and reinforce what I've been saying. You know, uh, I see people having these these sort of debates. I see a lot of intellectual dishonesty and stuff that has already been covered, uh, stuff that uh, women have already admitted, stuff that women continue to admit, but they fail to acknowledge that it's even being admitted. And until I grab the clips, pull out the receipts and, and, and juxtapose, you know, you know, these, you know, two different uh, uh, statements that come out of black women's mouths or even those that are defenders of black women. You know, it's not until then that people go, oh, like, I see what you're talking about. I see the contradiction, the blatant contradiction. And this is the frustrating part about, uh, you know, being an African-American man, you know, dealing with these issues with African-American women um, and how, you know, they just constantly play the victim. And so I'm just going through my phone, looking at my messages and I come across this, it says, it, it has the title, but then it has, and this is on somebody else's channel. This is not the host of the channel, but he just grabbed the clip and posted the clip. And it's got Dr. T. Hassan Johnson basically battling it out with Themis and Thoughts. Now, I got into it with Themis and, Th Themis and Thoughts like maybe a year ago or two years ago when he first came on. Um... And then there's hashtag black woman who I recently got into it with, like, I don't know, maybe like a couple weeks ago. And so I already know what time it is when I see themes and thoughts. I already know what time it is when I see hashtag black woman. So Dr. Tia Son Johnson obviously agreed to go on the show. And, you know, they were, you know, obviously it was a, a black, you know, dating relationship conversation. And black women keep coming with the same the same narratives. You know, we're doing so much better than black men. Right. Black men are beneath us. Right. Again, always, always comparing themselves to Dusty's, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, we're out here kicking ass. So Dr. T. Hazan Johnson comes through and demonstrates, you know, that, uh, you know, pound for pound black men who are employed and those that have not been incarcerated make more money than black women across the board. Right. But that always gets ignored. And so um, one of the, uh, the 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 counters that theme is threw up is because Dr. T. Hassan Johnson acknowledged that you have a million more black men who are unemployed to black women. But at the beginning of the show, he brought up the point, And this has been, you know, my point of contention. This has been a point that's like just been repeated all over the place, even in the white manosphere, which is that women are only looking for the top 10 percent of dudes. Women are only looking for men that like, in other words, if you make just $40,000 for the average woman out here, that's not good enough. So, so there's a threshold. So from, let's say, being unemployed all the way up to what number, like what number qualifies you to, to date any of these women? 75,000, 80,000? Like, what is it? Because we know it's not 40,000 or 35,000. We know it's not there. So it, the funny thing is, technically speaking, a man, a man making low wages or a man that's not making a lot of money versus being unemployed, he's equally as invisible as if he was unemployed, even if he was making you know, $50,000 or, or $60,000. Again, listening to the rhetoric of these women. Right. And listening to the rhetoric of Themis and thoughts. But anyway. So. The conversation moves forward. Dr. T. Hassan Johnson gets irritated, uh, you know, with Themis and his, you know, the way he articulates the points. I do wish that he didn't interrupt him, um, you know, just because the optics, you know, what I'm saying like, like, let the person get their point out. And I'm saying this as somebody who used to blow a gasket every time I heard something that I didn't like, uh, you know, so that's just like, I don't know, a maturity thing. I'm not saying Dr. T. Hassan Johnson isn't mature, but I'm saying, you know, that has to be you got to you got to check that. OK, let him get his stupid shit out. As I learned from Captain Solo, uh, let them talk. You know, what I mean, you can't counter points if you don't let them get it all out. And 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 just because you hear one point 
that you say, oh, this is some bullshit or he's going off in a different direction. No, usually there's another point after that that's even bigger than that. That's more significant than the point that they're trying to make that you have issue with. No, no, no. Like take umbrage with the big point. Take umbrage with the big fallacy and then counter that. You can worry about the other stuff later, but you got to let them get it out before you decide to go in there and counter, especially when we already know what we're going to hear you know, the, the, the emotional reaction of that, I think, you know, we should have surpassed a long time ago. But anyway, I'll play the clip. Makes oh, more money. Wait, you did. You did both. Oh, I said who gets paid more at every age from 18 to 65? Who earns yeah, more? All right, regardless. No, it's not regardless. regardless. If you're going to quote me, quote me accurately, please. All right, then we can go there. You did say who gets employed more. You did. You, you the anyway. point of the study is what I thought I focused on. I said there were a million more black women employed. Exactly. So you did say who study. employed more. So, you so did the study say, was about so you, did, so you did say it. Exactly. And that does nothing to further your argument regarding marriage. In fact, you wouldn't go there to see who is married. You could go to the research to find out that the more money a black man makes, Actually, statistically, this is not uh, uh, anecdotal, it's empirical. Ma black men who ma have more money marry less. So the fact is, why? We, I don't, they don't, the study why? doesn't, why? The why? study, it doesn't tell us why. Well, you tell us why. I can tell you why I think, but there's no study on why, but that's not the issue here. It I'm is. saying, it's not the issue. You can believe that. You, as a woman, you will get disrespected to your face because his financial status says I can. Mm. So my thing is, if you coming home to me at night and only me, baby, I'll take you broke. Shit. I'll take you broke. Because I've been broken by millionaires. Come mm -hmm. on now, what's the... <laughs> Title of this episode is I'll Take You Broke. <laughs> but it's got Themis in here, uh, 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 you know, saying... You know, we'll see, you know, the problem, what did he say? Um, you know, uh, the problem is, is the, the women are, you know, there's, there's less men that are employed and, and, and that the men that make money, you know, they don't get married, which, you know, I've been saying a long time in terms of, it's not that they don't get married. Uh, it's that they wait longer to get married. And this goes back to that study you know, the one that BGS and Desiree on the Latino radical channel, uh, a radical Latino channel. Why am I, why am I having dick sex at the moment? This goes to that article, because what did what did that say? What was the primary? It wasn't about who's interracially dating more and all that stuff. Like I said, whatever discrepancy they had on there, if I had to point to something as to the reason why uh, there was that that discrepancy in terms of uh, birth. It, you know, I would say, you know, as I showed all the receipts on my community tab, because you have women who are sharing dudes and this this even further goes, you know, to my bigger point. Um, but I'm going to get to that in a second. But getting back to, uh, you know, Themis and his point about, um, you know, well, there's a million more, more million more unemployed men. And then the men that make money, you know, they're not getting married. This clip I'm going to play the first clip and then I'm going to play the second clip. And, and the second clip highlights what I've been saying. OK, whenever you start talking about a, a black man with money, a black man with resources, that's a black man with power, at least power in the relationship. And that's what a lot of black women do not like. And so they will avoid those men and then they will run to the Ray Rays and Pookies and the Dusties and all that because there's enough of them going around. The black men that have felonies get in a relationship with them run the relationship, be in charge in those relationships, and then claim victimhood when it doesn't work out and claim that, there, oh, there wasn't no choice and all this other shit. Oh, and all the black men with money, you know, they're over there with white women. It's funny how we're not getting married, but yet we're marrying white women at the same time. Like, it, like it's, it's funny, you know, how, how there's always some angle to dismiss the qualified brother. Is now it's either he's a tyrant, you know, he wants to control you, he disrespects you because he can, which is essentially what this woman says. It's always that. It's never just a brother, you know, a brother did the right thing, went to school, grind, got himself together, and now he's an eligible back. It's like the women, they don't they they want to live in this world where black women are always better than black men, but yet they want to date up. 
I'm like, that's impossible. You can't be better than your man and want to date up at the same time. And then they try to find some way to try to bring the brother down. Then it turns into, oh, well, that's nice that you graduated from Harvard and everything, nigga. But uh, you don't control uh, the, 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 the world. You know, you don't control the economic landscape. You know, and the goalpost just keeps getting moved and moved. You know, you don't have a Fortune 500 company, nigga. You know, you, you ain't Elon Musk. You ain't Jeff Bezos. You ain't this. You ain't that. And the dude is kicking ass. The dude is putting up numbers. But they got to find some way to disqualify him. He can't disqualify her. It can't be, you know, hey, brother, why didn't you marry this sister right here? Well, you know, what I mean, she's overweight. Hey, brother, why didn't you marry this sister over here? She got a bad attitude. She she want to, you know, be a man and and and, and uh, you know, she's got masculine energy. Hey, brother, why didn't you marry this sister? Because she already got kids by some dusty nigga. You know what I mean? It can never be that. It's always, nah, see, he's he's colorist. You know, nah, see, he's 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 wants to control. He he disrespects me. He this, that, and the third, right? And and here's and here's the bullshit of of even the whole, you know, the the you know, the there's million more uh unemployed men, and that's why these black women are single, but y'all still out here having these dusty dudes' babies. Again, I direct you to Desmond Hatchett, the dude with the 30, 33 kids with 11 women. What, you tell me what woman number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 were thinking. You tell me what they were thinking. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it was so, what kills me about all these conversations is the conversation always takes place from the standpoint that all black women are doing better than black men and all black women are educated and all black women are not out here on some ratchet shit like as though we can't pull video clips up on the internet of black women, you know, doing that whole where they grab a tuff of hair of the other sister and they just start wailing at each other and their and their and their freaking ass crack is hanging out and their stomach is hanging out and they just in the streets like, yeah, bitch, you come get this, bitch, yeah, bitch. Like, like we don't see a whole bunch of videos of that. Those women are not educated. Those women are not sophisticated. Those women typically have a whole bunch of fucking unnecessarily born kids. You know what I mean? And that's going to be their existence. But yet somehow all of those women disappear and go away when when we engage in these conversations. So so what they what they do is essentially like what Captain Solo used to always say. There's only three black people in the black community, dark skinned men, light skinned women and and uh, um, uh, uh, dark. What did I say? Dark skinned men, light skinned women and dark skinned women. Right. Light skinned dudes that like the, the community just makes them disappear. And when we get into these conversations, the same thing is done when it comes to, you know, uh, black women. It'll be that 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 the room is filled with nothing but Michelle Obama's. Uh, there's a handful of educated brothers that the women aren't interested anyway because they don't have the hyper masculinity and the street shit and everything else that the women are actually into including educated women as ashley akuna said i don't see the type of black man that i'm attracted to in corporate america okay but but yet ray ray and pookie you know he he's got to fill the room like 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 a like a sold out football stadium so we keep we keep the niggas in the room. We keep the dusties in the room. We keep Ray Ray and Pookie in the room to engage in this conversation. So black men got to defend themselves and defend Ray Ray and Pookie, which I don't think Ray Ray and Pookie needs to be defended. But they, they try to use Ray Ray and Pookie in all conversations. But when it comes to having the conversation from the other side, like, hey, I can't throw a I, I'm a I'm a I'm a single childless black man. I can't throw a rock without hitting a, a, a black single mother. All of a sudden, the, 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 you know, the, the hashtag black women and all, they act like those women don't exist. They act like Ray Ray and Pookie does not have a female counterpart. They act like all the women that deal with Ray Ray and Pookie are victims to Ray Ray and Pookie and that that's not the life that they're about. You know what I'm saying? There's a there's a, a, a case in Philadelphia right now with, with a with, I think she's like a, a 17 year old girl who shot. Uh, 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 a black boy, I think they're all about the same, they're all about the same age, you know, because, you know, she was, she wanted to be on some gangster shit, she right there in there, you know, and, and it's gonna be, oh no, she's, she's an angel, she's a princess, and she was manipulated, she's the one that shot the dude, 
and they running around Philadelphia looking for this 17-year-old girl who shot, you know, uh, a, a dude. And I'm not saying the dude was an angel either. All of them was on some nigga shit, on some rob and steal, carjack shit. They were all in the streets doing bullshit. But I'm saying, I'm using her to highlight the fact that these dudes have female counterparts. But yet, when we get to these conversations, they don't want to have that conversation. But anyway, my point is, you know, the 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 the, the part that Themis wants to ignore, because I know it sounds crazy. It sounds the way that black women wail about how they want a good black man and they want a black man that's making X amount of dollars and successful and this, that and the third. The reality is, is they can't deal with that situation and that black women who are educated are actively avoiding black men that have resources like that. They're actively avoiding it. Because they don't want to deal with the power dynamic. So they got to find some way to, to, to disqualify. Oh, he's a tyrant. Oh, he's he disrespects me. Oh, he's got to be. He does it because he can. And I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to deal with that. And, and you know what's so funny? The same the the, the, the man, who, the man who can do certain things, regardless of how she thinks or feels about a particular situation, is the same man who can go out there and challenge other races of men, who can go out there and open up businesses in the black community, who can go out there and make moves. The dude that can't disrespect her is in no position to correct any of the things that black women claim or say need to be fixed in the community, you know, in order for black men to be respected or whatever, you know, the new goalpost of the day is. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so black women always want to have this fake ass equality situation, this dynamic where they have these black men that are powerful, but not powerful enough to tell them what to do. But yet somehow he's supposed to be powerful enough to go out there and compete and challenge other races of men in the economic marketplaces, which I don't even know how that would be possible. You know what I mean? So, so he's supposed to be in this like limbo of, being capable but incapable at the same time, you know what I mean? Or capable when she wants him to be capable, but incapable when she doesn't want him to be capable. I'm like, that doesn't work. Again, we're back to the, you know, hypergamous equality. You know, you give a woman, a woman says she wants to date up, you give her a dude, okay, now you're in a relationship of hypergamy. Then she bitches, ah, it's not equality. I'm like, okay, fine. Here's a dude making the same money as you. Here's equality. Ah, what's wrong? I'm not dating up. This isn't hypergamy. Okay, fine. Back to the dude that's that that's making more money than you. You know, here's a freaking, you know, successful black man. Ah, I don't like this situation. Why? Because he has standards and he expects me to be this and that and that and this on his arm. And I don't want that. You know, okay, fine. Here, here's back to the situation of equality. Okay, uh, she's bitching again. What's wrong with that? He's dusty. He can't take me on trips to Cancun or, or, or Kirk, Turks and Caicos. He's dusty. You know, I'm like, I'm, they're never satisfied. You know what I mean? This this is where the SYSBM comes into the room. This is where the passport bros come into the room. You know what I mean? All this gaslighting that whether it's themes and thoughts, hashtag black woman or any of these other people, all this all this bullshit just it just needs to stop. But we know it's not going to stop. Look, I've been doing this for what, over 10 years. OK, you know, I'm not up here you know, monetize and everything. A lot of people keep shit going just because they're trying to get the bag and all that other stuff, which, you know, I just think is, you know, grossly detrimental to the black community. I'm not saying you can't get paid off the stuff, but you got to you got to self-regulate. You know what I mean? You got to sit there and be like, what am I perpetuating if I go and, you know, I put this out there and then I just keep running with it because I'm building an audience off of it and I'm getting Patreon and I'm getting the bag and I'm getting all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we have a, a, a limited number of seekers of truth, you know, online. And, uh, 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 you know, what was the other thing I was going to say about the limited number of, of the seekers of truth online? And then we just have, you know, in my opinion, I know the women, when they want to say, oh, no, black men are trying to dodge responsibility and all this other shit and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, look, I, I'll, I'll openly admit that you got black men that are trying to dodge your sons. I don't agree with BGS and his using third world standards, you know, and, and trying to apply it to the first world of, you know, women sweeping floors in Guatemala and then saying, well, the, well, the immigrants, they, the, their women accept that. So black women should accept that. Too. Fuck, fuck this nigga on that. 
Okay, I'm with sisters on that bullshit. But what I can't, what I can't, uh, 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 you know, co-sign you all on is 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 the way that you all, you know, dodge the shit that you all do do. You know, the way that you all dodge the realities of you avoiding men that have power, that have resources, because, you know, you just. You, you, you know, you just you, you want to subscribe to these matriarchal concepts of you, the bad bitch, boss, bitch, Robin Givens and Boomerang. You know what I mean? But then somehow you want to, you know, be put on a pedestal. And I'm like, how can a dude can't a dude that's not ahead of you can't put you on a fucking pedestal like that? It's it's just the weirdest dynamic that keeps black women in this constant state of 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 fluctuating complaints. You know what I mean? If the man's got resources, he's too powerful. If the man is a broke, he's a broke dusty and can't do nothing for her. You know what I'm saying? It's like they want to keep us in this, in this, in this. He just, he makes enough money to where, you know, I'm not dependent on him or, I'm, or he makes enough money to where he's not dependent on me, but he doesn't make enough money to where he can direct guide, you know, the, the relationship and where things are going. You know what I mean? And, and, and the thing is, is like the, the part that, that, that kills me with the sisters and, and a lot of the shit that they talk about. And this goes back to what I said about, you know, the, the, the where they were talking about the million men and whatnot is y'all still having babies with dudes that you say are, you know, like like in other words, we can talk about the dating. We can talk about the marriage. We can talk about the relationships. And this brother doesn't qualify. And these niggas are dusty and da, 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 da. But yet we have women out here who are having these men's children. Men who should not qualify. And that even looks even crazier. You want to talk about doubly reinforcing SYSBM or passport bros. You know what I'm saying? You, I hear all this shit about in the community and y'all niggas don't build and this, that, and the third, right? And y'all need to, y'all need to work together and come up with something. And black women aren't going to respect you until y'all do. And then you hear some story about, you know, this woman going out here and getting with a dude that really doesn't qualify. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All that shit you were talking, nigga got to make X amount of dollars. Nigga got to do this. He got to open up five businesses by Sunday. You know, he's got he got to do all this shit. But yet you went out here and you got with the low man on the totem pole amongst all of us and had his baby. And you're up here bitching and you're up here complaining. You see what I'm saying? Like and, 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 and women are just I mean, they're just terrible with that shit. You know, like I said, you know, they, when it comes to the accountability, dude, when where I jump in on the dudes is when they start talking about it's not about the money. You know, they start talking like that dumb shit that that dude said in that fucking clip, you know, where he sat there and, you know, talked about, uh, uh, uh you know, if she's making one hundred and fifty and, you know, she can't even look at what I'm doing. We need to do what you're doing, babe, for at least two years. You know what I mean? And then black women sat right up on that panel. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Sat up there and co-signed his bullshit. A woman's submission is based on a man's leadership. Then what is his ability to lead based on trip? His ability to submit. I think we've already established that tone in this conversation. I think in order to be an effective leader, you need to know when to move out the way. Oh, that's good. Um, mm, I like because, that. you know, and it's not to refute what anybody else is saying, but I don't think it's always the man who has the vision in a relationship, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's always him that's supposed to. Um, <laughs> if, let's say, my, my lady is a, is a lawyer, she pulling in 150 a year, mm -hmm. the vision is clear. We're going to need a <laughs> few more years of what you got going on before mm -hmm. we start talking about who I'm supposed to be and what I got going on. And if I need to lead by moving out of her way so she can accomplish some things to better us, yes. then I need to be strong enough to do that. Ooh. I so I, I think yes. a lot of men lead from an egotistical place That's where good. it's about mm -hmm. what I want, not about what we need. You know what I'm saying? Again, if I put these two clips together, if I, if I put these two clips together, it looks crazy. You're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Both sides of your face. You know, you know, you know, uh, like the, the, uh, one situation, the women, you know, they want to. Well, actually, technically speaking, the, these, these two videos are consistent. I take that back. A woman's submission is based on a man's leadership. Then what is his ability to lead based on trip? His ability to submit. I think we've already 
establish that tone in this conversation. I think in order to be an effective leader, you need to know when to move out the way. Oh, that's good. Um, mm, I like because, that. you know, and it's not to refute what anybody else is saying, but I don't think it's always the man who has the vision in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's always him that's supposed to. Um, <laughs> if let's say my, my lady is a, is a lawyer, she pulling in 150 a year. Mm -hmm. The vision is clear. We're going to need a <laughs> few more years of what you got going on before mm -hmm. we start talking about who I'm supposed to be and what I got going on. And if I need to lead by moving out of her way so she can accomplish some things to better us, yes. then I need to be strong enough to do that. Ooh. I so that, really. I, I think yes. a lot of men lead from an egotistical place That's where good. it's about mm -hmm. what I want, point. not about what we need. You, as a woman, you will get disrespected to your face because his financial status says I can. Mm. So my thing is, if you coming home to me at night and only me, baby, I'll take you broke. Shit. I'll take you broke. Because I've been broken by millionaires. Come mm -hmm. on now, what's the... Th Title of this episode is I'll Take You <laughs> Broke. Because, because when you really look at it, they're both talking about a dusty situation. The dude literally is sitting up there saying, you know, uh, you know, you can't look at my money and she's making 150. And then this other clip of the woman is sitting there saying, uh, uh... Uh, that she'd rather date a broke dude that comes home to her every night than, than date a millionaire. I've dated millionaires. And see, that's another thing. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like, so you've dated, you've dated black millionaires. You've dated black men that are making that type of, it's so funny how these dudes don't exist, but yet these women always have experiences. You know, they, they're not being chosen. Colorism, you know, it's, it's all this shit that, that, that they're not being chosen, but yet all of them have at least one experience with a dude that's established. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Right? Because remember, they, they, you know, when it comes to black men making making money, they only want to date dudes beyond a certain threshold. Uh, is the magic number six figures? I don't know what the but but so everybody below six figures doesn't exist. So what would so so what if if everything below a hundred thousand dollars doesn't exist, then what would it matter if if a million more black men are unemployed than black women? What would it matter? Because because because. Trust me, you're disqualifying way more than a million black men if the threshold is, you know, he must make, you know, $100,000, $90,000, And the reality is, is the vast majority of black women don't don't even touch that. They don't even touch that. You know what I mean? So so there's like this there's this big issue with in terms of like 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 how black women view themselves versus the reality of of how they are in their actual condition there, there's there's so much to lose when when they got to the point talking about how you know uh, uh black women were were bigged up and everything yes they are bigged up and propped up but they're propped up by the media you you know black girl magic uh, 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 you know, you know, uh, these the, the sort of, you know, these TV shows that, that, that cater to them where they're, they're all awesome and sophisticated and everything. The only show that didn't show them like that was, what was that show? Orange or something like that, where all the women were in prison. That's like the only show that doesn't show them like that. You know, but every other show is girlfriends is, you know, everybody's just living well and everybody's making money and nobody's in poverty and everybody's childless. Like, it's like, they keep they, they they love to show that and 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 I think the biggest I think the biggest one of the reasons why um and I and, and I like I said I got a video coming actually I, I don't think I told y'all but I got a video coming about a brother whose mother won't tell him who his father is you know and the way that he was he that he's been affected you know by um you know by that dynamic but Anyway, the point that I was going to make about it, about him is, you know, it, it, see, as a black man, it's not it's not it's not cool to be a victim. Like you just like and this is why brothers don't share their stories. Women bond over their problems. Men don't bond over their problems. You know what I mean? Because like it's just like with Kevin Gates, you know, who was sexually molested. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he, he was sexually molested and. And as a man saying that, then it's, the conversation turns into, oh, well, shit, that nigga, that nigga definitely gay. You know, he probably liked it. You know, it turns into some shit like that. Right. Or at least the question comes into the room because you can't ungay. Right. 
this is why you have that whole that whole dynamic, you know, that that murderous dynamic between, uh, you know, trans women and black men and everything. You can't ungay. You got dudes that that, you know, they don't know the person is trans. You got the, the dude that doesn't want to come out as being bisexual. You got the 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 uh, the trans person uh, that threatens to expose the other person. That's why that shit goes down, because you can't ungay. You know what I'm saying? For those that, you know, that that play in that space. You know what I mean? But when it comes to black women, it's like this is the funny thing about them. When it comes to black women, it's like they do bond over their problems. And so everybody's more open to hearing their problems. But then at the same time, there's spaces where people are less open to hearing black women's problems because of all this. They're super women and they can jump over a building in a single bound. And and, you know, all this strong, independent black woman stuff, which basically says that, you know, they're strong, they're resilient, they're resilient. They're, you know, essentially they're not human beings. You know, they're 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 aliens from another planet who get their energy from the sun. You know, what I'm saying like like that's how. It gets interpreted. But it's funny because in one breath, it's like we listen to black women's problems more than we listen to black men's problems. And then in in an, in another situation, black women become the invincible, unstoppable force. But we still don't listen to black men's problems. We still don't hear what they say. We still the black men still get gaslighted on that shit, even though, again, I can pull up receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt of black women talking out of both sides of their face saying that they want a man you know oh is they're single oh i want a man i want they start throwing up this this perfect ideal idris elba looking you know uh black man who's who's got money he's got this is what they say that they want then as soon as they get it it turns into you as a woman you will get disrespected to your face because his financial status says i can mm. so my thing is if you coming home to me at night and only me baby i'll take you broke shit i'll take you broke because i've been broken by millionaires come mm. on now what's the th title of this episode is i'll take you <laughs> broke. so like like it just there's no satisfying these women. And that's why a lot of black men are walking away. Okay. Because the demands that are being made are unre unreasonable. A lot of them are not in good faith. Uh, there's too much goalpost moving going on. You know, there's too much. It's, and, 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 and then like a lot of it, it's, it's like a busy assignment. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 the same bullshit that white supremacy does with the goalposts. Oh well, you know, uh, you can't get this job because you know you know you don't you don't qualify. You know you don't have the certificate. You go out and get the certificate, then it's oh well, uh, we don't have any space available for you. Uh, you know and, you know you, you got to get a degree. Okay, you go out and you get the degree. You know oh well, nigga, just don't come back. You know it's like see exactly. But they want to make it. They want to make you know it out to be that no, the reason why you can't get in the door is because you're fucked up, not because of anything I'm doing on my end, not because I'm goalposting. I really don't want you here, you know what I mean? But I don't want the guilt or whatever to fall on me, so I gotta come up with a reason as to why you know what I mean. I really don't want you. I want to be able to talk bad about you. I want to be able to say that you ain't shit, you know what I mean? But 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 you keep you keep you know, correcting the problem every time I identify something. Shit, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? Same thing white people. Again, what white people do, sit there and talk about, oh, black people, they mooching, they on welfare, they just that and the third. Well, nigga, every time we had a thriving intact community, y'all motherfuckers came in there and burn it down like Tulsa and Rosewood and Elaine, Arkansas and Wilmington, North Carolina and Slocum, Texas. You see what I'm saying? Every time we had a thriving community, all motherfuckers coming in and burn it down. So then now they just run around, you know, on Fox News, run, talking about, oh, see, black people, they ain't never built nothing. They ain't never had nothing. They ain't never. I'm like, uh, you mean all. Yeah, funny how, we, again, we never had any of the shit that y'all clearly burnt the fuck down. Amazing. Y'all sure as shit burnt down a lot of communities that, that were clearly never built. Like, fuck out of here. And this is what the women do. You know, so anyway, that's all I want to say. I just wanted to, to to slap this video together because I'm like I'm like oh this is perfect this is perfect you know oh, we don't know why what these men you know aren't getting married because the women avoid them 
avoid them. Again, let, let me give you the quotes, you know, uh, over the years. Um, a black man can't do anything without the strength of a black woman. Um, anytime I come across a black man that's doing better than me, I have to reevaluate myself. Uh, I don't mind allowing a black man to believe that he's in control, believe, but not actually be in the position, right? You know, but, um, you know, I, I could bring up all of Don Nicoleon's, you know, quotes and that woman up there, you know, talk about two captains on a ship and everything, you know, um, you know, just all this dumb shit, right? And, and, and yet the complaints will still be filed about what in the community is not, is not being built and whatnot. But this is what these women are saying, you know, on the sidelines or when they think nobody's listening. You see, see, I'm hard to fuck with because I listen to what black women say. I don't just dismiss it. I'm like, oh, no, I'm listening to what you're saying. You know, just like just like the, the, this, this, this shit with the, you know, with that discrepancy in that in that chart that, that, that BGS, you know, uh, threw up and Desiree on the radical Latina threw up. I'm like, y'all been running around forever talking about. You know, and black men, y'all got babies all over the world. Y'all spreading y'all seeds everywhere. And black men, y'all got four or five baby mamas, right? All that shit. Or that woman that was on, uh, what, 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 what show was that? Was it, I think it was, is it, was it hashtag black woman? It might've been hashtag, but this whole idea that you're going to create, you know, well, I bet you're going to create a single mother, whether on this side of the fence or over the fence. I mean, just accusing you of shit that you ain't even that you ain't even done yet. And see, it's all good in the hood to sit there and slam black. Y'all spread babies all over the place. But then when I say, well, that shows that, you know, y'all are sharing black men because we've already established that you only want a, a small minority of black men. You want the nigga that's tall. You want the nigga that's charismatic. You want the nigga that's got charisma. You want the nigga that's got money. Well, that, that's a small number for a man to check all those boxes. You know what I'm saying? That's a small number of brothers. That's a very small number. So, so that's all you're, if, 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 if that's all you're looking for, well, then that again, reinforces the idea that the women are out here sharing men. And then the women get mad because that makes them look bad in, in the face of other women. And then like, no, no, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't the discrepancy. I'm like, I'm like, you just got finished saying that you only wanted the top 10% of dudes. And then on top of that, you know, you running around talking about, you know, how black men are baby, ba you know, bastard baby making factories. And this, yeah, because you all are sharing dudes. You got one dude and you got, you know, six women or, 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 or seven women. Like, again, look at the community tab, receipts in the community tab. You know what I mean? Like this, this shit goes on. And again, not all of those guys are celebrities. I know I put a lot of celebrities in there because, you know, those are the ones that we can easily identify. But I'm saying, you know, Desmond Hatchett with 33 kids is not a celebrity. That man was that man uh, 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 um, was making. I think I think they had one episode. He was making, I think, eleven dollars an hour. Now, you tell me. What woman number 11 was thinking when the man is making $11 an hour. And I think he was a felon too. $11 an hour and you having this nigga's baby. There's no money. There's no money in that child support check. You, you, you making $11 an hour and you got to split $11 an hour 11 ways. And, and no, excuse me, 33 ways and still make a living. That's that's not possible. That's impossible. The math ain't mathing. But yet, woman number 11 saw woman number 10 all the way to one and still had the baby. Only woman I wouldn't blame in that situation is woman number one. Whoever his first baby mama was, that's the only woman that can't be charged with a crime. Every other woman in that, in that train, you know, all the way to the caboose, I'm like, what the fuck were you thinking? You know, so... Yeah, y'all need to just, I mean, spare me with your bullshit. So, like I said, because I know that we're not having honest conversations and we're not going to have honest conversations, yes, by all means, black men, SYS, BM, passport bros, all that shit. 
Okay, because, you know, since, you know, nobody wants to be honest in the discussion, fuck it. Especially, especially, especially the women. And they think that they every every argument and every discussion can be dismissed by every time a black man brings up a grievance, the women go, huh, that's weak, that's weak. Other men don't file complaints. Y'all niggas just complaining. Y'all need to go out here and build and do this and do that, right? But again, the type of men that have the skills, that have the knowledge, that have the ability and the resources to build, these women don't, not only do they not find them attractive, but they don't want to deal with the power dynamic. They don't want to, they're not just, oh, oh, I'm looking for, I'm just patiently sitting here like, you know, like a Victorian woman, you know, waiting to be chosen and get with the program and, you know, cook a mean casserole in this man's marble floored kitchen like that. No, no, they're not, they're not sitting around looking to do that. No, what they want is they want a rich beta male. That's what they want. A rich beta male, a dude that's got a substantial amount of resources and lets them do whatever the fuck they want to do with those resources. And they want a man that accepts them for who and what they are. And, you know, she can be fat. She can have somebody else's kids. You know, they want this. They want the fucking Sierra prayer. They want a Russell Wilson type of situation. And and the fact of the matter is, is you're not going to get that situation out of black men who got to go out here and do everything that they need to do in this system to 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 be successful. You're not going to get that. Ain't nobody going to just sit there and bust their ass off to 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 fight through this system, be su- a successful black man in this white dominated system and then just hand you the keys. Like fuck out of here. But this is what y'all think. You know, but um Anyway, I, I'm I'm done with this video. That's all I got to say. That's my video, SWPL. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Who makes oh, more money? Wait, you did. You did both. No, I said who, who gets ma- paid more at every age from 18 to 65? Who yeah, earns you- more? All right, regardless. No, it's not regardless. regardless. If you're going to quote me, quote me accurately, please. All right, then we can go there. You did say who gets employed more. You did. You, you the anyway. point of the study is what I fo- I focused on. I said there were a million more black women employed. Exactly. So you did say who study. employed more. So, you so did the study say, was about so income. You did, so you did say it. Exactly. And that does nothing to further your argument regarding marriage. In fact, you wouldn't go there to see who is married. You could go to the research to find out that the more money a black man makes, Actually, statistically, this is not uh, uh, anecdotal, it's empirical. Ma- black men who ma- have more money marry less. So the fact is, why? I don't, they don't, the study why? doesn't, why? The why? study, it doesn't tell us why. But you tell us why. I can tell you why I think, but there's no study on why, but that's not the issue here. It I'm is. saying, it's not the issue. You can believe that. The issue here. Well, why don't you relate it to the issue and actually answer the question? Wait, in you, didn't, wait stop. I, I, you went on. Why don't you relate it to black ego? All right. Why don't we do that? Good night, guys. The thing is, I did not interrupt. A woman, you will get disrespected to your face because his financial status says I can. Mm. So my thing is, if you coming home to me at night and only me, baby, I'll take you broke. Shit. I'll take you broke. Because I've been broken by millionaires. Come on now. What's the title of this episode is I'll take you. <laughs>